Little Marvelous Muses. How are we doing, guys? So tonight, we're going to do two more of the little animals that we got the other day in the Timu Hall, just because I want to see what they look like before I do a bunch of stuff to them. I just kind of want to pour them plain. Very simple, not plain, but very simple, and then uh, see what we do to them afterwards. Now, these little guys, we might actually do something to these. The kitty cat, we actually outlined and stuff like that, but these, these little guys, we'll see what we do to them when they come out. Uh, so we have the little deer and we have the unicorn. So the deer I'm going to do brown with my chocolate brown. Love this mica powder. Looks like hot chocolate. Got to see me use it a lot. A whole lot on here. Oh, that's bronze. Brown. Nope, it's red. Where'd my brown go? Where did my brown go? Oh, here it is. There's my brown. And then I think... I think we might do something... I don't know. With pinks? Maybe some pastels. What do we think about that? Maybe some pastel pink and maybe a pastel pink and purple. Let me look here. What do we got? Okay, that one. All right. So I have two colors here. I'm going to mix in with the resin. We have Let's Resin Light Purple and Let's Resin Light Pink. And this is an opaque resin pigment. Uh, so we're going to actually add a little bit of pink to one, a little bit of purple to one. And we're going to like dirty pour them into the thing. So I'm going to guess... About two ounces each. So these are, I'm going to say four ounces. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do five. That way if they take two and a half ounces or something like that, we've got plenty. So we'll put you on a pause. I'm going to mix up some resin and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we got the resin mixed up here. I got a little over an ounce in each cup. A little over an ounce in each one. So we have light purple. I'm going to do three, just to start with and see how it looks. Yeah, no, I think it needs more. It's still very, very, very almost white. And I trick it up. Let me shake it again. Sure. three more I'm going to do three more. Okay. One, two, three. So that's nine all together. Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better. Still very pastel, but I'm, that's what I kind of want to do. Was pastel. All right, now let's do the pink. Get it shook up really, really good. Oh, I see it all in the bottom of this one. All right, 
That looks better. Okay, so we're going to do three. One, two, three. See what we got. Yeah, very, very light. We're going to have to do more. We're going to have to do more. Kind of figured it out. I was like, if I had to do nine of the other, I'm probably going to have to do nine of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's nine of each one. Alright, let's do some, because this is a unicorn, let's do some of the diamond dust metallic. Let's do a little bit of that. Diamond dust metallic. Okay, let's do a little bit in there. A little bit in there. A little bit in there. There we go. You see the sparkle? <laughs> oh yeah, that sparkles. If you can see the sparkle, can you see Yeah, oh yeah, you can see it in the camera. Yeah, now you can see it in the camera. Alright. Okay, so let's just move this little guy out of the way for a minute, and we're going to concentrate on the unicorn. We're going to spray some alcohol down inside of him. Down in his tip, especially. Alright. So, let's do some pink. Okay, I want it down in the tip. I can already see it's not... I already tell it's not down in there all the way. There we go. Uh, that looks a little better. I don't know if it goes, does it go all the way down? I can't tell. Let's see if it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right, let me get it. I'm just gonna get something to wipe off my stick here. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do some purple. Okay. Now let's do some more pink. More purple. More pink. More purple. More pink. It looks like this is going to take like right at two ounces. perfect two ounces because I mix just a little over two ounces in these two cups and I have this much left so perfect 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 all right I'm gonna move this out of the way it's so pretty all right move them over here these out of the way. All right, now bring the little reindeer over, and with him we're gonna mix up brown. 
some brown mica powder. You guys have seen my brown plenty of times on here. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I love this brown. Love this, love this, love this. How are we doing, guys? Everybody having a good day? Is it starting to cool off where you're at? Today's actually kind of cooling off this evening. A little bit it rained earlier, so it's not super hot out right now. I actually have my door open out here in the art room. But yeah, it's better than it was. Better than it has been. It's not scorching right now. <laughs> it is not scorching right now. All right. Spray this with some alcohol, and we're gonna spray some alcohol down in there. And I'm gonna pour a little bit stop here for a minute. Make sure it's down in his little antlers. I can't see the back. I can't see it. I'm like I keep pouring it over the back. Actually, I didn't pour it over the back. I just poured it on the back rim there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get my camera sorted out here. Is it my bracket for my camera? I like it, but I hate it. It's one of these that has like knuckles, and you turn them one way and they don't hold. You turn them another way and they hold. Another way they don't hold. It's just they're horrible, horrible, horrible. And the way I had it, I was so far away. People are like, "Why is your when you're coloring these things? It's horrible," because I was three foot away from the object, two foot away from the object I was coloring. Uh, trying to do it from two feet away, and I couldn't see it good, even with my glasses. So I was like, i got to bring everything closer to me. So now I've got everything within a foot of me. and But now I had to redo my camera configuration. So now it's like weird. It's in a weird place, and I don't know how I feel about it. And I'm just, I think I may have to break down next month and get me a, not this month, but next month, and get me a... a different filming brackets that I want. It's pretty expensive though, so it may have to wait for a little while. But I feel like for the amount of sanity it's going to bring me, it might be worth the investment. I know the phone was, so hey, sometimes you got to invest to make things happen correctly. All right. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. All right, I think he's good. So a little bit extra here. So, not enough to do that with that. I don't want to do him in brown. I don't want to do him. Here, we'll do this skull here. Crow skull. Pulled out a few of my a few of my molds that I wanted to do. I'm like, let me pull a few of these out that I want to do. I haven't done in a while. Haven't done them in a while. Let's do these. Let's pour some in here. There we go.
So I loved learning new, weird, useless facts. So, uh, who remembers the movie Maximum Overdrive? With Emilio Estevez, and when the trucks and all the electronics or whatever take over. So, apparently that was the only movie that Stephen King ever directed himself. Uh, and apparently the person he wanted to play the role Emilio Estevez played in the movie, he wanted Bruce Springsteen. So now, those of you who have seen the movie, try to envision Bruce Springsteen in that role. I was like, hmm, okay. I mean, Bruce Springsteen was pretty, pretty big back in the day, so I, I could see that maybe working if, you know, that's what he wanted in the, for that reason, but he wanted it because he thought Bruce Springsteen would bring a grittiness to the character. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. So I never knew that. Yeah, I love useless bits of trivia. <laughs> useless little information. Maybe nobody even knew. I got quite a bit more here. We're gonna pour it into something else. I still have a whole lot more. <laughs> gotta get it off of here so it not because this is well if not this is a pain to clean up. <laughs> Pain to do cleanup on. There we go. All right, what else can we do? Hmm. Do another skull. Another skull.
Okay, guys, I'm going to put y'all on a pause. We'll be back when it's time for demolding, and I'll see you then. Hey, we're back. So, these are all cured. Now, these two here, my hands right now are still kind of sore. I got my cream today to start putting them on. In fact, I just put the first batch on. But they're really sore, so I'm going to have Cody demold these two for me. I can do this one and this one fine, but these two I feel like are going to be a bit much. So, I'm just going to have him demold them. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'll come back and I'll show you as soon as he gets done. So, we'll be right back. Alright, guys. We are back. Tell Cody thank you. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, the person that told me that the reindeer and the cat were hard to demold did not lie. Uh, Cody demolded this one and this one. Now, the unicorn wasn't bad. He It wasn't bad at all. I probably, my hands weren't hurt. I probably could have demolded it on my own. But I don't know if I could have even done this one on my own. So, this is our little reindeer here. Isn't it cute? Oh, my gosh. That's adorable. That is absolutely cute as can be. All right. So, we have the reindeer. And then this is our little unicorn. You can kind of see a little bit of the pink and purple divided, but not as much as I kind of wanted, but it's still very unicorny. And I, like I said, I wanted to see, like, her eyes. Okay, so her eyes are closed, and all you see is her closed eyes and three little eyelashes down below. Uh, you do see her nostrils and her mouth. I'm looking here. Let me get my glasses on. I'm looking to see if I have any bubbles or anything on them. How they did in that area. How they did there. So yeah, I think we have some micro bubbles under the chin. But honestly, with the glitter and everything, you really don't even notice it. I mean, I had to look, look to see. Because I put the sparkle in it. Okay, that's too cute. And then this is the little, the little deer. He's cute. Again, micro bubbles under the chin. But, honestly, you really don't notice it. Maybe a couple under his ear here, there's, it's semi-noticeable. But even then, you know, if you're looking at him from this far away, you don't see any of them. So, and then I have the raven skull here. I have a little one. I have a mold that's bigger ones too, and I think I'm going to pour it because I just think they're really cool. Isn't that neat? Looks good in that brown too. Looks good for that brown. And then we have our little swords here. This one I didn't fill enough, so I'm not going to demold it. We have that one there. That one I didn't fill enough. We're just going to leave those in there and I will add to them to finish them off. That one's cool. I like that one. I have one that's about like that. It's in the house and it's almost as tall as I am. Bought it in Kentucky from a guy. He's a police officer, and it, it was a. It's one of the Lord of the Rings swords, and I, I wanted it really, really bad, and I ended up buying it. And my, my husband and I went out and picked it up. So I was so excited to find this sword. You see the holographic. This is a leftover from the pink and the purple. Oh, wow, that one stayed separate. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. See the sparkle in it, too? That's really cool. Very nice. All right, 
I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to decorate this little guy up here. Um, I might do the unicorn too. I don't know. I want to wait on her. But we're going to decorate the little reindeer up. So, um, yeah, we're going to decorate him up. And I'm going to put these aside because these are going to go for future projects. And actually, we can do the eyes right now. I'll do them with you guys. I guess I could put y'all on a fast forward and do it like <laughs> like everyone else when they when they do their stuff. Put y'all on a fast forward and let you watch. But honestly, I kind of need it closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I kind of I'm not as far away as I was. I'm a little closer than I was, but I'm still far enough away that I can't. I got. I need it up closer to me to see it. All right. So, what do we have here? Oh, I did not realize that this one has butterfly in it as a pupil. Can you see that? See the butterfly in there as a pupil? Isn't that funny? All these times I've looked at these and I've never noticed that before. And this one's the same way. Alright, so this is a circular eye. That's a circular eye. Let's do the round blue one here. Give him blue eyes. We'll give him blue eyes. We will give him blue eyes here. Oh, here they are. I was like, which one is it? Oh, and these are just like the perfect size, too. <laughs> That's like perfect fit. That's perfect fit. Wow. Perfect fit. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Not on his cheek. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Oh, how cute is that? Okay. We got that done. Now. Get my markers here. Okay, so we're going to do his nose. We'll just give him a little black nose. Give it a little black nose here. Okay. So we got his little nose. What else do we got? We got his little feet here. And spots on his head and his ears. All right. Different little gems here. Let me see if I've got some round ones that are big enough for the bigger holes on the bigger deals on the top of his head. Bigger deals on the top of its head here. Get 
that's right. That's not bad. But honestly, I kind of like a little darker one. Too big. Yeah. That is too big. Good. Huh. Look here, man. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do on him. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. So he is done. And what I did for him was on the bigger dots, I went in and put leaves, and then on the smaller dots, we put some gems. So we put leaves one going each way and then one in the center and then on his little feet we did the same thing of course I did his nose and his mouth so this is him and then I kind of felt bad because I was like well why should he just get be the only one to get to dress up and show off so I figured I might as well dress her up a little bit so this is our little unicorn she got a flower on the top of her head, a rose. She got some little jewels on her ears. And she got a tattoo on her behind. So, she would probably get more dressed up. But, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with her yet. And we're going to probably make her some friends. And they're going to get dressed up. So, then we might dress them all up together. So, this is them. Uh, let me know if you think we ought to name them. And if so, what do they need to be? She's very pretty. She's very dainty looking. With her little pink rose on top. Her purple eyes. Purple eyeshadow. She's just beautiful. And then he is very... He's very autumn -y, Very fall looking. With the leaves on him and stuff. He's very cute. Very, very cute. Alright guys. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, come on guys. We're almost, almost to 4,000. I'm not going to make it by my birthday. I already know that now. But, we can get close. So... We could at least get to 3,900. We're almost to 3,900 right now. I think I need, like, just a few more. So, if you haven't subscribed, even if you have, double check, guys, because I actually went on one of the YouTube channels that I've subscribed to a long time ago, and they mentioned it to go check just to make sure, and I went and looked, and I was like, oh, well, I'm not. Why am I not subscribed? So, I don't know if YouTube does it occasionally, and if they actually unsubscribe people or what, but... I double checked and I was not subscribed to this person's channel and I I know for a fact I subscribed. I've been there been seeing their channel for years. So double check it guys, just make sure uh that you are and if you're not hit it 
please, and thank you. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.